Welcome to Webidoo. In this short tutorial, you'll learn how to manage your websites with Webidoo's dashboard. The dashboard is the main control panel of your websites. Here you can create a new website, view existing sites, manage your sites, control their settings, run a search among your websites, and get help from our support team. Each website has a name and a status that informs you if the site is published yet or not. On the top left of the dashboard page, you can create a new website, which will lead you to a simple start wizard, where you can choose if you want to start designing your new website from scratch with a blank canvas, or if you want to start with a layout that provides you with fully adjustable structures, such as corporate, portfolio, or graphic, or if you prefer to start your work with an inspiration, a ready-made design that you can easily edit and modify to create a new, uniquely designed website. On the top right of your dashboard page, you can use the search field in order to find a specific website out of all of your Webidoo sites. Use the advanced search option to focus your search if needed. Each of your websites has an inbox for the convenient use of your customers. This inbox is set to collect all the messages that the users of this site have sent through the site's forms. Press the envelope icon to view a control panel of all the messages of your sites. Pressing the eye icon allows you to take a quick look at your published website. In the Site Settings pop-up window, you'll find all your site's administrative details, including domain managing options, passwords, other app services that you might want to use, and the personal settings of the CMS. Under the General tab, you can set the status of your site as active or not active. Deactivating a site means that it would be off the air until you activate it again. Under the Domain tab, you can add a new domain to your site and set it as the primary domain. Under the Password tab, you can change the password protecting access to your account. Use the Services tab to insert Google Analytics code to check traffic measurements and interactive reports, and to insert Webmaster Tools and Google Apps verification codes. Use the CMS tab to authorize your customers' access to the CMS, the Content Management System, in order to allow them to update and make content changes to their websites independently. You can also set a new CMS user directly from the dashboard by using this button. If needed, you can easily duplicate or delete your site using these icons. Use the support contact form to let us know of any problem, comment, or suggestion you may have. We're here for you. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We're looking forward to hearing from you.